Greetings from Barcelona. Why do I want to keep developing and expect the unexpected? Because I think it can be useful. I believe stories to be useful. I think we're not just talking about the past, but we're actually helping people to understand how they're existing in the world today, in the story that is the world today. And I think as a climate justice movement, we can be telling better stories, that we need to be telling stories that are on scale with the crisis, uh, that acknowledge the strange moment in history we're in where we have a, such a small opportunity to tip history away from the edge of irreversible collapse and to move away from the short-termism that dominates activism as we know it. And I want to develop this project because I think it's useful for people to learn more about activism. Uh, often we show people images of something brave we're doing uh, and they say, whoa, that's cool, but I would never do that. Um, and to help them show that we were scared too, but we did a training and we were with our friends. And in the end, like, it came out amazing um, because we were together and sharing some of this um, reflection on how these mass actions, mass collective actions of coming together can actually be spaces for personal and collective transformation that make you leave with this experience of you've done something that you didn't think was possible and you did that because you came together as a group. And I think that spark of imagination of the possible is exactly what we need to be nurturing as we organize and inspire more people to join in climate activism. And finally, I think storytelling can be a better tool, uh, can be used by movements uh, in better ways uh, to expand, diversify, and reach new audiences. And that's why I'm trying to develop this project more uh, so that we can run workshops that can help people to be telling their own stories of personal transformation through collective mass action and also to be converting this project into a video so that we're able to reach far more audiences than me with my two-year-old inside are able to reach. So thanks for listening.